Hi everyone, my name is Eric Xie. I'm a third year PhD student in CPES. Uh, the topic I'm going to talk about is decoupled alpha beta model of modular multilevel converter. Because of its modularity and simplicity, MMC is widely used in high voltage and high power applications such as HVDC or renewable energies. However, because of large circulating power, as you can see here in these commercial products, a large capacitor is required to deal with this low frequency power. So the major challenge in MMC is how to reduce those capacitors. Previous CPES student Chen Li proposed a state-space modeling for MMC. As you can see here, there's two inductors and two capacitors. However, we normally regulate the output current as a sinusoidal wave. Therefore, only one inductor and two capacitors are considered as three independent variables, and the 3D trajectory is shown here. If we project the trajectory onto IP and VCP plane, so basically we focus on the energy in the upper arm. So this step plane represents the energy stored in this capacitor. If we project this trajectory onto VCP and VCN state plane, so basically we focus on these two capacitors. So this state plane provides the power flow information because we know we can know the energy flow between these two capacitors and outside these two capacitors. The state plane analysis clearly identifies two kinds of circulation power in MMC. So as you can see here, this is VCP and VCN state trajectory. So we can first identify a symmetric image with respect to V alpha axis. So in V alpha, when VCP increase, VCN will decrease. So they have two different sides. So when the trajectory moves, V alpha will de VCP will decrease and the VCN will increase, which means the power is transferred from upper arm to lower arm. So this axis provides us the information of power swapping between two capacitors. And we can also identify another mirror image, which is respect to V-beta axis. In V-beta axis, both two capacitors' voltage increase or decrease at the same time. So they have same size. So when the trajectory moves, V data decrease, which means input power less than output power. So the two capacitors need to provide a difference. So V beta provides us the power related to source and load. And finally, we can extract these two kinds of circulating power, the power swapping between two caps, and the power related to source and load from these two equations. Based on the step analysis, we can do a coordinate tr transformation. So here shows the original state equation for MMC. The state is two inductor current, two capacitor voltage. And uh, the excitation is the input voltage. So we can do a coordinate tr transformation. Originally, we have upper arm current and lower arm current. Now, we know that one part of current flow to the load and the other part doesn't go to a load. So we can extract these two currents and we can extract V alpha and V beta through state plan analysis. Finally, we define two decoupling duty cycle so we can have a new state equation. Based on the new state equation, we can draw this new equivalent circuit for MMC when we assume there is a strong DC bias, so V beta is much greater than V alpha. When we look at these two voltage sources, V beta is much larger than V alpha. And the output side, V beta is also much larger than V alpha. So from here, we can clearly show the major power flow in MMC is from V beta loop. And we know that V beta is related to source and load. And we can also find there is circulating power exists in MMC, which clearly shows there. So V alpha 
V alpha represents the circulating energy between two capacitors. Now we can look at the control. D in, the duty cycle, controls the input current and the V beta, the capacitor voltage. However, when we regulate input current, we at the same time generate the circulating power. Likewise, DO regulates the output current. And DO, when we do the output current regulation, we also generate circulating current at the same time. So when we do a coordinate transformation, the objective to reduce capacitors is very clear. If the two current sources are balanced, which means D in I in equals to D O I O and two D O I in equals to D in I O, when these two conditions are implemented, there is no circulating power exists in MMC, which means we can greatly reduce the capacitor. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.